Let's talk potatoes and potassium. It may surprise you to note that potatoes will actually use more potassium in a season than they will nitrogen. And of all the vegetables that are grown, potatoes are by far the highest consumer of potassium. Now, since potatoes are grown throughout North America, how much you need is going to depend upon your yield potential. A 22 and a half ton potato crop will require about 250 pounds of potassium for the season. Two to four pounds of potassium per acre per day are gonna be required for that potato plant to get established for the first 30 to 90 days. After that, when we hit bulking, the demand for potassium goes through the roof. Again, depending on the area that you're growing your potatoes in, you might your um, potato demand for potassium may be anywhere from five pounds of potassium per acre per day to upwards of 20 pounds per acre per day. It just all depends on your yield potential and the growing area that you're in. What we wanna make sure we do is we have some potassium available all the time for that growing crop and more potassium available during those peak growth demand times. Crop Vitality Products KRO23 and KTS are two tools in the toolbox to help make sure that you have adequate potassium uh, for your potatoes. The KRO23 is a seed safe potassium. So we have growers uh, throughout uh, North America that will uh, be putting down an insecticide and fungicide right on the seed piece uh, at planting time. If they want to use some potassium and sulfur that's safe for that seed piece, KRO23 would be an option to put some potassium down at that point in time. If you're not doing that, but you're in an area that's using a planter band or you're using a markout rig, KTS can be part of your liquid blend to put down to the side uh, of your seed piece to provide extra potassium during that time. And of course, if you're in an irrigated area, KTS is ideal to be put through the center pivot right at the start of bulking. Again, you can be looking at five to 20 pounds of potassium per acre per day required by that crop. If you wanna make sure you're meeting some of that demand, then KTS applied through the center pivot several times during bulking may be a good tool and option to help utilize and make sure you're getting the yield that you, that's required. So you gotta make sure you have the potassium that's available. If you don't have irrigation, then KTS can be used as a viable potassium source as a foliar. So if you're spraying your field several times during the year with a fungicide, you can apply one to two quarts of KTS with each fungicide application. Again, putting on small amounts of potassium uh, when the crop needs it. It doesn't take a lot. We just need to make sure that there is some available. So remember, the average use is for 22 and a half ton potato crop is 250 pounds of potassium. Spread that out over the season, putting it on in a multitude of ways. If your yield potential is higher, you put on more. But the key is to spread it out over the season. Thanks for watching.